At the first time that I met her, she looked sick and fatigued. She presented with the chest pain and discomfort around her left chest and the shoulder. The cardiologist do the echocardiogram for check her heart function and the result is impaired heart function. The normal value of the heart function should be more than 50%, but in this patient around 40%. And after that, the investigation of choice is a coronary angiogram. And the coronary angiogram was performed in this patient. And the result is a triple vessel disease. The triple vessel disease is coronary artery disease. All of three of the coronary artery was stenous. <laughs> Back to the basic of the treatment of the Curry artery disease. Mostly, usually involve the percutaneous Curry intervention or PCI and the Curry artery bypass surgery. Uh, what is the best treatment for the patient? It depends on how complexity of the coronary artery disease. If the disease is more complexity, the doctor prefer the surgery more than the PCI. And in this case, the most proper treatment of this patient is to the coronary artery bypass surgery to restore the blood flow to the heart muscle. And the surgery involves taking healthy blood vessel from her chest a leg that we call a graft and the surgeon attach the end of the graft to below the broad curry artery to restore blood flow to the heart muscle. Uh, the most challenging of this case is a uh, pump technique or beating heart technique. The heart lung machine is not used during the surgery. Instead, the surgery is done on the beating heart. This is the most challenging because the rest of the heart is still moving when you do the surgery. This technique is have many benefits for the patient. The main reason of the benefit is the, to prevent the adverse event from the heart lung machine, such as reduce the inflammatory response in the body and lesser the coagular party and blood transfusion and lesser the renal dysfunction and uh, reduce the incidence of the stroke and reduce the Range of intensive and hospital stay. After recovery from the surgery, she feels better and length of the entire hospital stay is one week. And now she's go home already. She resumed to the normal daily activities and free from the angina chest pain symptom. And after the surgery, the cardiologist do the echocardiogram again to check her heart function. And the result is amazing because the result is improved from 40% before the surgery to 50% after the surgery. And the recommendation from the doctor, she should limit some activity that can make her chest bone is instability. Limit transportation, especially by plane, because 
is about the changing in the atmosphere. But in the result and long-term outcome, it depends on the patient control the blood pressure and cholesterol level and uh, chronic condition such as uh, diabetes. And the last important thing is to improve the heart health by the making change the lifestyle, like uh, eat healthy food and manage weight and do the exercise. Wetani, victory for life. Leave us a comment below if you have any questions and please hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our healthcare videos.